Hey y'all, what's going on? Redneck Rough here, and welcome back day to episode, uh, can't remember the number, of the Pokemon Moon Randomized Combo Lock. If you guys are excited for today's episode, be sure to hit that like button down below. Let us know you're enjoying the series, and, uh, had a little fun grinding in between episodes, we'll get to that in a minute. One thing I forgot about is this motel room right here. Gladian! Oh, I fuck off. <laughs> That's all he says. <laughs> so I had to get that out of the way. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a quick team recap, though, and see where we stand after some grinding. First up here, we have Service the Deerling with uh, Return, Sea Bomb, Jump Kick, and Wild Charge holding the Grassy MZ. Vorizori the Crowbat with Leech Life, Steel Wing, Cross Poison, and Fly holding the Silver Powder. We have Colonel Sanders the Combuskin with Ember, Flame Charge Peck, and Brick Break holding the Expert Belt. Uh, Jennifer, the Agron, nicknamed by our buddy Patters. Uh, Smart Strike, Iron Head, Rock Slide, and Brick Break holding that Quick Claw, because that Quick Claw does pop a lot. And also, um, Patters is selling his shirts, be sure to check that out. Uh, we have Lantu, the Magirna, the Pokeball Magirna, that's actually pretty special. Got it with Mirror Shot, Psybeam, Charge Beam, and Aurora Beam. And last but not least, we have uh, the Slowpoke with Scald, Slack Off, and Thunder Wave and Fire Blast on the Water MZ. And, uh, oh, Magirna is holding this scope lens. I forgot that bit. Anyway, we're going to be on our way today down the rest of Route 5 and then Route 6, heading on our way to the Dimensional Research Lab. And I can't remember what all I randomized there as far as text goes, but I'm excited. Are you excited? Also, let's see here. Up, oh, dirt patch. We've already gotten our Route 5 encounter, though, even though I should have started counting these dirt patches as statics. I mean, that's what other people do. Look at that, a shiny little deerling, and let's just watch it destroy this ambi this apom. Look at that power. Look at that power. And the set that Deerling has right now is actually based on the Little Cup set for it from uh, Smogon. That's how I designed most of the All-Stars with the Little Cup sets since they were level 5 originally. But now we can hop on our Tauros and head on our merry way on down. I forgot to get some items. Oh, well. Items aren't randomized, so I'm not too worried about it. How? Hey, hey there, Sharkeisha. I know I heard your footsteps, see? Please don't want to battle. Please don't. Please don't. I just finished up Mallow's trial. Mallow's trial, you knew. That Mallow special of hers was just about good enough to break the mouth, eh? You heading to the Dimensional Research Lab? Just keep going straight away as that we. Maybe I'll catch you there later. Thanks for knocking me off my Tauros, asshole. But now we can continue on, and I think there's still a trainer or two here on Route 6 I haven't fought. Yep. I think you need to train your Pokemon. Are you sure about that? I can just hear John Cena in my head. Are you sure about that? Beauty Brittany. It's Brittany, bitch. Uh, honey, <laughs> you... Oh, shiny tentacle. This is a shiny battle right here, folks. Strap in your butts and get ready. Let's just go ahead and seed bomb this thing. Ah, oh, man. Just neutral damage killed it. I don't even care what you have to say, bitch. Oh, hold on. Up, 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 up. Hey there, how you doing? Alola, Alola. Welcome, trainer. Ladybug's already on my ceiling. And excuse if I burp or cough or anything like that, I just ate an entire pizza. Yes, an entire pizza is what I'm ca- Two shinies in a row! Jesus, randomizer, calm down. All right, this thing's grass psychic, right? So, and yeah, everything's neutral, so let's go ahead and hit it with that return. Oh, 
Leer. Laughable. Laughable. And does Wild Charge do recoil damage? I cannot remember. Also damages the user a little. Let's go ahead and just do a jump kick again. The Rugby Lemur. It's not a monkey, it's a lemur. Duncan Knee Deep is very specific on that. Oh, Uncle Duncan. I wish he cooked for me sometime like he cooks for Callum. Ooh, rare candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. That's all I can hear in my head now. Let's see what we got else I got here. Ooh, Kingler. 99% sure you don't have guillotine. So I'm just going to go ahead and seed bomb you. I should outspeed ass, should outspeed anyway. If I lose a Pokemon to an Oko move, that's it. I am done. I am done. Guillotine, fissure, whatever. And hey, we're here on the main road. And there's that guy on a Stalin, but... Good thing we're not going there. Good. And we'll, whoop. And Nebby, you splash! Carp. <laughs> uh, I was just acting like I was Sharkeisha. You know, I seem to end up getting hurt, Nebby. So I never really liked Pokemon trainers. I thought that I would want to be one myself. But when I see Sharkeisha and Hal, it's like they've thrown open some door that I always thought was closed. He's tried to straight through it into the future. It, it seems so amazing somehow. You don't have enough badges to train me! <laughs> oh, conspiracy theorist Nebby. Oh, Sharkisha, hello. I feel like it's been a while since we last met. There's a laboratory here that studies the dimensions, did you know? There's, there's a laboratory here that studies the dimensions, don't you know? <laughs> The professor's waiting to meet you. How, how are you, trials? It must be... It must be quite trying to do three in a row. There's no problem. Easy peasy. Oops, really? Yeah, whatever. You going ahead? I forgot what I changed the sign here in front of the research lab, too, so I'm going to read it real quick. Waifu Research Lab! <laughs> Where your waifu is given physical form! <laughs> I never cease to amuse myself. I feel like there is a Zygarde cell there. Must be only a certain time of day, though. And it's on upstairs. Thank you. I thought you were just going to give me. I forget you actually have to hit the buttons in this game. We're going to go up to the third floor. Now, what did I do with this part? Oh, hi there, honey! Oh, hi. This is Professor Burnett. She decides she runs the Dimensional Research Lab, yeah? She's also my sister and wife. <laughs> Kukui, this isn't Rhode Island. You can't do that. Oh, you're Sharkeisha, right? Lily told me about you. She said you were the reliable sort. Three months ago, I found Lily lying on a beach. Cosmog in her bag, also unconscious. Hmm. Know how today? Al, he's out doing his own thing. It'll be here. They'll be the real deal someday. He can even become a kahuna, just like old Hala before him. Oh, you really think so? Oh, -ho! oh yeah, I really do. Good to see you again, Hal. It's been a while since I last saw you. Anyhow, I brought Sharkeisha here because I wanted to tell you... Blah, blah, blah. Well, you tell her some of the mysterious phenomena here in Alola. Oh, I'd be happy to. The mysteries of Alola, huh? And you've got to mean... The Ultra Wormhole! Ooh! It's extremely rare, but sometimes a hole opens in the sky over Alola. It appears that this rift leads to a different and unknown dimension. The reason that people think there may be a mysterious dimension is because of the legends of fearsome Pokemon appearing from the Ultra Wormhole. Stephen Hawking is God in disguise! It's very weak as proof, but I can't ignore it. 
There's also plenty of evidence already in the Pokedex for the existence of different dimensions, right? You know, I've just now had a theory myself. I think we're the only ones who can understand what Nebby is really saying. Everybody else just assumes, like, Oh, you want to go here? Okay, and he's just screaming, Stephen Hawking is God in disguise! Even normal Pokemon sometimes attack people, right? But the Pokemon that appeared from the Ultra Wormhole went way beyond that. They were called Ultra Beasts, and they were feared. If the stories are to believe, be believed, uh, um, the Guardian Deities of the Islands fought desperately against them. But like I said, it's all legends and folk tales. It's hard to know how much is true. But I'd be very happy if I could somehow unravel the mysteries of the Ultra Wormhole by studying the dimensional disturbances. We've recorded several known relationships between Pokemon in different dimensions and books. You can find them on the bookshelf in this lab. Oh, hiccups hitting me real hard. You wanna happen three months? Oh, you wanna know what happened three months ago? Well, I wanted to learn more about Nebby. I mean, about Cosmog. So I decided to come speak to Professor Burnett. But I got lost along the way and ended up wandering until I collapsed on the shore. She listened to my story, staying up all night to hear it all. Then she even got her husband, Professor Kukui, to let me his loft to stay in. And she told him to help me investigate Nebby's origins, too. Professor Burnett has been so kind, and she's still trying to help me find a way to get Nebby back to its own home. She has been like, like a real mother to me. Well, we know somebody has mommy issues. And nothing randomized with you. What about you? Inner dream zone. Huh. Stephen Hunging has gotten disguise. Anything from you? Nope, just mag. What about Slowpoke here? Po -po -po. I feel like I randomized one of the professor's texts. There was a man named Moan who publishes theory about the ultra wormholes. You mean Moan, who's at the Pokepelago? Alright, first recorder, what about you? And we're gonna go ahead and head on out. How about that, Charkisha? Ultra Beasts really are out there. I wonder what kind of moves they can use. You finished all three of Akala's trials. Whoa! That now comes a big match against Olivia. The Island Kahuna. It's the biggest and baddest trial of them all here on Akala. The Grand Trial. Good luck. Olivia's house is past Iglet's Tunnel. It's in Coney Coney City. Better watch out for Team Skull. I still have some things I want to talk to Professor Burnett about, so I'll stay here. I might check out Iglet's Tunnel next. It's a whole cave made by Pokemon, right? <laughs> We're going back down to the first floor. Move my mouse off screen there. Now, uh, I was going to say, now we get to go get ourselves an encounter, but... Wheel in the sky keeps on turning Look like a crack in the sky Yeah, I already know where I'm going. Strip club time for me, wow. Okay, Hal. I'm going to switch Jennifer up front because I want to show her off a little bit. Oh, yay. Now we get to go in here. Meaning we get to roll for an encounter. As always, we got our six-sided die in the cup there. And what we're going to do is roll one through six. One, two, or three, we get our first, second, or third encounter, respectively. Four or five, we want to trade it away once or twice, respectively. And if we roll a six, we get to exchange our first encounter for an all-star. Let's go ahead and do this. And we have rolled a two. So our second encounter in here. Well, let's go ahead and see what the first could have been. Wormadam? No, thank you. It's just going to protect, and I don't feel like struggling against it, so screw it. Let's see what our second is. We suck good. The heck is that sound? Oh my god, it's a Cosmoem. <laughs> Well, there's not really much I can do for you, my buddy. So we're just going to go ahead and quick ball you.
and leave you in the PC. Oh. Well, crap. There goes our second encounter. Great. Yeah, Aether. Mm, oh, Sharkeisha, wasn't it? This cave really is something, you know. It's overflowing with these Pokemon called Diglett, and they really are getting out of hand. Mediocre trainers can't even get through. So how's your island challenge going? Let me see which crystals you've earned. Oh, look at you, Sharkeisha. Nice work. You've even, let's see if you even passed Malu's trial. It's about time you had some fun with me. The Diglett has settled down, too. If you're as strong as you appear, you should be able to make it through this cave. At the other end of it, you'll find Kony Kony City. That's where my sex dungeon is. I'll see you there. Okay! Take one step. What is it? Yo? I want to see how much this a break a break uh, gonna do. Sturdy, of course. Iron defense, of course. And let's go ahead and smart strike you, because I want to show it off. I love this move now. It's my first time ever actually using it. I never taught it to anything in any of my other playthroughs of the game, but now I love it. I can never miss. Do I have any... Wrong place. Give me the bag. I have 28 repels. Uh, that's good enough, then. It's good enough for me. Firestone. Now if we get a Growlithe or a regular Vulpix, that'll come in handy. Whew. With the lady in charge, we finally managed to make some headway against those Daglet. Oh, Alola. We're members of the Aether Foundation. We work to support Pokemon constipation. <laughs> It seems... Which one of them is talking? It seems like Team Skull is responsible for the Diglett in this cave getting so riled up and bringing them all to the surface. Oh, Team Skull is this group of troublemakers, you see. They seem to delight in interfering with trainers and their Pokemon. Diglett normally live in elaborate systems of underground tunnels that take years to dig out. We're here to ensure they return to their tunnels and let people pass through here without having to fight so many Pokemon. Some of the dicks are still stuck on or near the surface, though, so use protection. <laughs> Yes! I'm hilarious. Yep, use another repel. Thank you. Ooh, hyper potion. Thank you. There's something back through here. Okay, so people normally count dust clouds as static encounters. So from here on out through the rest of the islands, that's what I'm going to do. And. Is going to be our static for this cave. Now let's see what we can get. I'm going to listen and see if I can guess it. Is it electric? No, it is not. It's an artillery. All I could think of when I said that, though, is it's electric. So many 90s kids are going to hate me right now because now they're going to have to go look up the song to get it out of their head. Aurora Beam. Pathetic. Go ahead and Smart Strike you. Look at that power. Would you just look at it? Okay, that's actually pretty strong, and now we're in crit range, but... Which one's stronger? Smart Strike has a power of 70, Iron Head has a power of 80. Uh, no, not risk a crit though, because everybody'd be mad at me if I lost Jennifer, especially Patters. Damn, Daniel. Where'd you name this? The 
Aurora Beam again. We can take it. We can Smart Strike again. If it lives, we get to catch it. But it's pretty close. It's just within like a percent. It's just that close. Well, it lived on one HP. I shit you not. See, so I'm use a great ball on it. It lived on one HP. Oh. Might want to try an Ultra Ball then. Might work a little better. Let's go ahead and stay in here. One, two, three. There we go. Welcome to the team. Well, I'm not officially on the team yet, though. Going to be chilling in that PC for a while. Also, I did level up Poke Pelago in between episodes, and uh, all our dead Pokemon are chilling out there now in the hot springs. Which we can leave up to 18 of them there at a time. Send him to the box. So, those past routes, I'm not going to count the dust clouds as statics. Because that'd be cheap, but from here on out, that's what we're doing. Oh, team's gone. Just when things were starting to heat up, yo, I got mounted by Diglett and violated, yo. <laughs> yo, since when can Diglett use Pound? <laughs> now I want to beat up on some fools. Maybe because you were the fool who was dumb enough to be here right now. Hey, Sharkeisha. Yeah, I was wondering who you were playing around with without me, and it would seem Skull. Yo, you want... You want some? That's always we say hello. Nice knowing you, punks. Alright. Oh, I'm trying not to yawn right now. I'm just tired. Charmander and Gothita. Laughable. I just realized if you look very, very closely between my webcam and the lower screen of the DS, you can see my watermark there just barely hiding. Let's go ahead and use this. That quick claw pop! Look at it. Sunita so Reno, use Horn Drill. Or Leer. See, if you'd done that before, it'd probably be dead now. Special attack rose sharply on now. Bye-bye, Nidorino. You die. You're dead now. Oh, wow. You actually live in that. He lived a plus two confusion from a psychic. Damn. I think that's plus two. Yeah. Plus two, and what's he? He is confused. Wait, what's he holding? The fighting memory? Wow. Can I see the rest of House Pokemon? No, I cannot. So we're just gonna go ahead and go for an Iron Head on this thing. Unless Nidorino kills it first, but no, he kills himself. And we go ahead and hit off that Iron Head. Bye bye, Gothita. I feel like I heard something sound like a car horn outside. Gonna leave this headphone off my ear just in case. Also, check out my nice gauge there. I don't know if you can really see it on video. Five eighths. Yo, step off. Enough of the beating off, yo. We may, we may not be trying to take over the world or nothing, but we're still hard as bone out here. See you on the slipping sidey. And Sharkeisha, when I fought with you, it's like my Pokemon feel even more at ease. You really are some kind of trainer. Dude, I gotta give you something. I think that is actually useful instead of just all the revives you give me. And now we are up here to uh, Route 9. 
We have to battle this police officer no matter what. Great. That police, uh, that police station reminds me of the ones from Animal Crossing, like the original Animal Crossing. I'd always go in there and just take all the good items. Everybody did. Send out a Swablu. Yo, you about to catch these hands. Check it. And we get that quick claw pop again, and the back side of my ears itching from these gauges. There we go. Hey, when your ear itches, you gotta scratch it, right? And Jennifer grows to level 30! And we're actually gonna go ahead and go to the I feel like I keep hearing a car horn. Yeah, it's screwing with me. Real bad. What's this? This way to Memorial Hill and beyond it, the ruins of life. Okay, nothing randomized there, whatever. But we got a fish for our encounter here. Fishing spot is actually right over here. So we're going to go ahead and roll the die again and see what our encounter is going to be. Already know the die rolls, what they're going to be if you listened to me about five minutes ago. So let's go ahead and do this. And we're going to have rolled a one. So we get to catch our very first encounter and keep it. Let's hope it's something good. Oh, it's not going to be on that cast off. Got to do another. This is it. It is going to be. Let's close it. I hate these things so much. Fuck the elemental monkeys. If you don't stay in this quick ball, I'm just killing you. Okay, he heard me. He's at least an obedient little monkey. I think that sound I've been hearing is my phone vibrating because it looks like I got messages on Facebook. Yep. We're going to give you a name, nickname, Silas and nicknaming here, and we're going to go ahead and use it to pick the first letter. It's going to be a Y. Yelo. Yelo. Send you to the PC. Now let's go get our nice cutscene of Coney Coney City. It's a beautiful town. I actually love the way this town looks. Oh, there's Nose. There's Purple Pass. And there goes Deli Bird on his way. And also, we get to get ourselves a couple more new encounters here today. Going into Olivia's shop, they sell fossils there, and we can get both fossils and go revive those for two more new encounters. And let's go ahead and do, go to her shop. It's 20 minutes almost. We got enough time. Welcome to the dungeon. Pokemon's holding a letter. Sharkeisha, it's Olivia here. This is Probo Pass. It watches over the shop when I'm away. I know I asked you to meet me here, but there's been a change of plans. Come meet me at the motel. Bring a bottle of wine. And there he goes upstairs. There he comes back downstairs. It's your dance. Madison? He's roofing me. What a happy ending. I couldn't think of anything else for his voice, so I just did that, and now my throat hurts. Don't buy a plume fossil. Oh, we gotta sell some stuff before we can do that. So let's head across the road here and see what we can sell.
Hopefully I got some stuff I can sell. Uh, Firestone, not about quick one, max repels, green souvenir. I feel like I'm just gonna have to uh, give up the rare candy, because really I can just work and level them anyway. And that leaves us at a uh, 11 grand so far. We need 14. There we go. Got our 1400 dollars. We're gonna go get two new, two more encounters here via fossils. And again, they're static, and I'm paying for them, so I'm keeping them. Yep. Got a plume fossil, now we just need the armor fossil. So it's originally like an Archon or Archeops. So it's this normally. Shield on. Oh, I don't. Yep, it's shield on normally. Let's see what they got randomized to. Let's go ahead and uh, yeah, Charizard Glide. Fly to Route Eight. Now I keep going for the left trigger because I think it's a speed up button, like on the. Uh, Stuff I emulate. I mean, I don't emulate stuff. That's piracy. I'm not doing that at all. I'm legitimately playing those games on a regular DS. Let's make a fossil-filled wonderland. You have any drugs on you? Won't turn back into... <laughs> what? Let's go ahead and restore the armor fossil first. And see what it is. I can't wait to nickname these. It's not actually a shield on, is it? It says shield on, but let's see. To star you. Okay. Internet just went out. Pokemon gets nibbled on by Luminion and others thanks to its red core. It regenerates fast, so it's unconcerned by their snack attacks. I'm gonna name you... Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and get our first letter. It is gonna be an N. Need okay. Send you to the box. And then we're gonna do ahead and do the plume fossil now. And let's see what we get from it. It's, it's not actually an Archon, unless the randomizer screwed up, but let's see what we got. Yo! And what are we going to name you? Oh my god, I'm, I'm trying to remember what I normally name my Hydragons. Well, I'm going to name it after another Dana that I had before in a different LP that died. It was the very first one to die in, like, the third episode. We're going to go ahead and send you to the box. And we are going to fly back to, uh, Coney Coney City. So let's go ahead and head on over here. And we'll wrap up today's episode after I sort them out on the PC and make sure everything's all good there. Let's go ahead and take a look at him real quick and see what... So there's Octillery. 
It's a serious nature. It constricts Side Beam, Aurora Beam, and Bubble Beam. Semi so Sage is Naughty, Leer Licks, Fury Swipes, and Seed Bomb. Star Use Quirky, Illuminate Ability, Water Cup, I mean Water Gun, Rapid Spin, Recover, and Psy Wave. And then Zvilus is Quiet Nature with Hustle, Dragon Rage, Focus Energy, Bite, and a Headbutt. Okay. Well, that's a good team, Air Force. We're going to go ahead and step on back outside here and enjoy the sunshine. And we're going to save our game because, remember, only you can prevent lost save data. So until next time, guys, I am Redneck Rough. Keep on keeping on.